is math. This is Professor Parker, and for today's lesson, we're going to be dividing fractions. Now, we're going to divide fractions. There are different ways to divide fractions, but we're going to do probably the most traditional way that a lot of people have been taught is doing the keep, change, flip model, right? So keep, change, flip is kind of an algorithm that we kind of memorize. What does it mean? It means that you keep the first fraction the same, you change the division sign into a multiplication sign, and then you flip the second fraction, right, which would be our divisor, right, one-fourth. We're going to flip it. Or technically, we're going to take the reciprocal of it. The reciprocal is when the numerator and the denominator switch places, right? So think of bunk beds, you know, children sleeping in a bunk bed, the child that's on the top bunk goes to the bottom bunk, bottom bunk goes to the top bunk. So it will look like this, right? So we keep the two thirds the same. We change the division sign into a multiplication sign. Notice I use the dot. You can use the X if you want to use multiplication, but sometimes you can use the dot. We flip the one fourth and change that into four over one or four first. And now we can multiply. If we wanted to, if we could cross cancel, we could if we wanted to, but there's nothing to cross cancel here. So we multiply straight across. Two times four gives us eight. Three times one gives us three. And our product is eight thirds. So what that means is this is how many, because two thirds divided by one fourth in the first place, what does that even mean? That means how many one fourths can fit into two thirds, right? And we know that one fourth is less than two thirds, because if we thought of one fourth as a decimal, one fourth is like a quarter, like 25 cents. Two thirds as money would be like 67 cents. So because 25 cents is less than 67 cents, you know that more than one of one 25 cents can fit into 67 cents. So it makes sense that we're gonna get eight thirds and eight thirds is an improper fraction, which is something we can actually convert into a mixed number by doing this, thinking about, okay, how many threes can fit in eight? Two threes can fit in eight. So that's gonna be our whole number. And then since two times three is six, the difference between eight and six is two. So two is gonna be our numerator. And then we keep the same denominator. So this is how many quarters or fourths can fit into two thirds. Two of them and a piece of another one. And that's today's lesson.